everyone, and welcome to the Smite Art Show. I'm your host, Hi Res Enna, and over here I have Hi Res Mamacita. Yay! Yay! Hi, nerds. As you guys know, we've changed the format to instead of me and Gavin, it's me, David, and Mamacita, and maybe Gavin if I let him out of his crate. I'm not sure. Kind of iffy. So, um, wanted to let you guys know the contest for this week, the challenge for this week, will be, um, well, Cinco de Mayo was yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. So, we'll go ahead and give you Mexican themed gods. So you can make them into piñatas, you can make them into luchadors. They have the dead stuff, anything that's related yeah. to the Mexican yeah. culture. Just be, just be nice. Make a, make a, a boodle. Donkey. Boodle. Ooh, yeah. Boodle, yeah. Make a god of boodle, please. Vaquero, oh yeah. Vaquero? I know. Oh, 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 the florico, the right. dancing stuff. Okay, anyway. Hey, yeah, guys. So, uh, moving on to the artwork. Whee! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the faves for the Smite Art Show. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, we're going to start off with this beautiful, majestic piece by Amanda Costa. And it's on her. Little cub on her. He's so cute. Aww. Look at him. He's adorable. I love this piece. The composition is perfect. It's immaculate, actually. Like, the brush strokes for the bushes, um, just everything. The tree, everything is so beautiful and lineless and just Gorgeous. I, I like that that it's on here when he's young. We don't get to see yeah. a lot of gods when they're young. You don't at all That's, because they're all like yeah. full grown or baby versions. But this is him when he was just a little cup. Oh my god! I bet Aww. I bet he's adorable in real life. He'll just claw your face off. <gasps> oh yeah, he uh, he's been working out now. Oh yeah, yeah. like dude. When did you start eating protein? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I love this. This is so cute. It's adorable. And the simplicity of the. Uh, the spear, just yeah. you see it, it's so simple. It's nice. It also adds a bit of mystery to yeah. what what can be told by this piece. Like, was he was he falling from somewhere and that's why his spear landed in a bush in front of him and it's hanging from a tree? Or like what's what's the, like the whole story? Spear practicing. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's nice. It's very well set up. It's a very yes. well done piece. So good job, Amanda. Bravo. This next one is by Amy Ramson and it's Fawn Roar. Look at him. I love this piece. This is gorgeous because I really like the chains. I'm a big fan of the chains. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. Well done. Like, I mean, the whole piece in all is great, but the chains just, like, it's really hard to draw chains. Yeah, I'm going to be must, honest. That must have taken a it's while. It's a pain in the patoot. Usually I just go ahead and I download a brush tool thing, or like a, a chain brush set, and that's it, and I'm good to go. But the, the artist actually, I think, went ahead and did each individual link. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. What's wrong with you? Are you amazing? <laughs> I think you're amazing. Clearly. I, just, I like that it's like two sides. Like hell, there's that light side yeah. and the dark side, and that's what I really like. It's got the uh, the orangey glow, and then it's got the purpley glow. But yeah. the eyes are completely different. Yeah. You got like the yellow, and then you got orange. It's just a really good mix of colors. So really good job. Yes. This next one is by oh. Antonio Gachevic. Gitch, yeah, Gitch, yeah, Gachevic. And it's Deck Boy Hunbats because we all want full Conquest Pirate Team. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, we need this. I mean, we game. already have like Buck and Eve. We have Pirateer or Privateer. Um, <laughs> so this would be tank. this would be adorable. I actually think like this it, this reminds me of the monkey that's already with Buck and Eve. Oh my goodness! Yes. I'm pretty sure Humbots would be really pissed about that. He's like, I am nobody's monkey, Aww. all right. So calm down. But Make this him do the little dance. <laughs> <laughs> dance for me, monkey! Dance for me! I, I just love this. This is great. Really good design, and you still maintain that classic Humbots yeah. attitude yeah, that he has. Yeah, his still that. For sure, the jewelry um, is really good for pirates because pirates love jewelry. Um, and I love that you added abilities too. Oh, that's really I, cute. I love the little Sobic skull right there. I know. Oh, and it's Tears Blade and Neat's uh, gun. Oh, yeah. I just noticed that. Wow. That's amazing. I love this. I, I actually think I like the uh, little Deck Boy yeah. Hunbots, the one that's on the second ability, way more. It's just so cute the way it's drawn. I know. Oh, it's adorable. Oh. Good job, Antonio. Well we yes. love this. And we do agree. We would love to have a full Conquest Pirate team. That would be amazing. This next one is by Asim Shrestha, and it's Kukulkan! Kukulkan. Or Kukulkan, yeah. Kukulkan. Is that, is that how you say it? Kukulkan. Kukulkan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did something right. <laughs> um, but this piece is amazing. As you guys know, um, last week for our Drawn Out edition, we actually featured Asim, and he gave us a really cool Agni, a full piece Agni. He usually doesn't do that, so it's really great to see him do another piece that's similar, but a little bit more detailed. 
and this is super detailed, but also really simple. Yeah, it it it, it looks like origami or it like does. paper art, which is oh really nice. I would love for someone to actually make this with paper. That would yeah. be really cool. Um, but esteem, we love this. We love that you've gone from doing uh, inanimate objects to the gods. That's amazing. Yeah, it just really beautiful. shows your variety. So, good job, esteem. High five. D Yay. Digital high fives all around. Oh, um, this is by Jan McGee, and we actually favorited this one just because the line art is really clean, really well done. The shading is good too because it isn't just one solid block of colors. Yeah. It's you can see each individual line. And that's really cool. That's a very cool shading style. Um, it's also horrifying. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got those grown-up eyes. He does. He's. I think what's more horrifying is the eyebrows and the bags under his eyes. Yeah. And that's what's really he has terrifying. Fire. Yeah. Well, you know, he has to have something. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. This is very, very creepy. But it's just like his legs and everything. It's it's very babyish. But then you got the grown-up look. It's that face. Oh my god. Senpai, why? <laughs> but good job, Jan. This next one Aww. is by Casey Rivera, and it's just a nice, simple Awilix hanging out with Suku. Um, as you do with a giant cat, you play with it with a little thing of feathers on the end of a string. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. First things first, I'm a Wilix. Get, get, yeah, get, out. get out, get out. Get out. I'm gonna write a rap song for it. Oh my god. And I'll, I'll sing it to you, my dear. Why did I agree to do this? What? I'm kidding, you're great. I love you Aww. so much. But this is adorable. Yeah. This is so cute. Just, he, look how cute he looks. He's so I, happy. I know. For, for it being a death machine of an animal, yeah. a jaguar, it's, it's nice, nice to see that. The yeah. soft side, the playful soft side. side. And also, it's really nice to see a Wheelix drawn again because um, she hasn't been drawn a lot lately. And she's one of my favorite gods to draw yeah. personally. So. Really good to see it's her again. It's nice to see them like playful with each other. Yeah, I love that. I would love. Well, you know, you also get Artemis and Tusky hanging yeah. out together, and then all the other gods that have little animal friends like Bastet. But good job, Casey Rivera. We love this piece. This next one's Ooh. by Mike Katar, and it's Loki. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, it's Zuko from Avatar, and you don't know anything. It's <laughs> clearly Zuko, but it's not Zuko. Okay. It could be like an old Zuko, where he joined the I dark side. Zuko, stop it. This is the art show for Smart. Oh. Oh, it's Kronos. Because it's white hair. <laughs> no, I'm just I teasing. will cut. <laughs> I will cut. You are too sassy, girlfriend. Oh. Um, but I love this. This is great. It's a nice little touch as well to add the scar, the battle scar. Yeah. Um, and he just seems more weathered and more, more wise instead of more like yeah. a trickster. He doesn't, he doesn't look old. He just looks like he's been through things and yeah. he'd make like a good villain. He's serious face. Serious yeah. business Loki. This is what it should be he's called. He's got that mature look to him. Yeah, that mature. Like he knows Ooh. what's going on. And he's thank you for things. making him a little bit more handsome than he yes, actually is because yes. he is just... If you, if you guys know, Loki is always covered in scars and looking weird, and it's nice to see him unhooded and with hair, so it's nice. Good job, Mike. Also that background, hey. Beautiful. This next one is by Vladimir Novitsky, and it's an Athena skin concept, tier two, question mark? Hi, Rez, please. And I adore this. I think this is great. I would love to see a skin for Athena that maintains its Romanesque style to it, but but also just makes it a little bit more battle ready for her because her original skin is, you know, long skirt and, and she's yeah, it seems yeah. a little bit um, not not really good for battle. Yeah. Like, and she still does battle but Yeah, like this uh like the the breastplate and everything, and then with the I'm guessing that yeah. would be like the leather skirt, it, it has that feminine feature, but it still looks like I'm gonna kick yeah. your butt. Yeah, it's like a way more masculine style for Athena. Yeah. Um, and I really love the helmet accent as well because Athena, she, you know, most of our goddesses have crowns or they're wearing yeah. tiaras. Not a lot of them have helmets or any of them really. Um, Nemesis and yeah. of course and Nox, Nox but those are. Little. Those are fashionable hoods, yeah. I guess you could say. But um, it's really good to see just a nice, simple uh, type of helmet featured for a goddess. And the thing I like about this art, it's like art that I want to put on my wall. It's yeah. like a poster. I would, girl, you don't even have to tell me. I, I would love to have so much yes. artwork on my walls from all these artists. It's amazing. Um, but this is a gorgeous piece, Vladimir. Good job. We love this. All right, guys, and that's it for the artwork. All right, guys, that was amazing artwork. We love all of them. So remember, the challenge for next... Hey guys, um, we actually have a really cool announcement for you guys today. Um, we have a screenshot contest that's starting up today, uh, where you can send in screenshots uh, with uh, or vines of 
really cool kills, jungle camp fights, invades, fire giant fights, team fights. We want you to just take all the action of Smite and submit it to us so we can see your stuff. We've got gem prizing for first, second, and third place uh, people. We have it for Xbox and for PC. So everyone's included. Join us and send in your kick-ass screenshots. Oh! Oh!